Okay, so let's create our first module. We're going to cd into the modules directory here, and we're going to make a new module, and I'm actually just going to call it EC2. This is going to be a module that I, we're going to use to create EC2 instances. So I've created the modules directory inside of there. There's an EC2 directory. We can head into our EC2 module directory here, and the first thing we're going to do is create three files. They're going to be variables.tf, main.tf, and outputs.tf. These are basically just convention. Main is going to do the main work of defining the resources to make. Outputs are going to find outputs because a module can have outputs, and I'll show you how that works. And variables, which are variables that the module expects to be sent to the module to use. So we'll head back to the editor here, and we can start using this stuff. Now, basically what we're going to do is convert our AWS instance and the related variables into a module. So it's no longer just a bland old resource inside of our main configuration file here. This instead will be a reusable module. So let's define our variables. We're just going to go ahead and copy and paste some, and these will be very familiar because they're ones that we are reusing from our main configuration. This module is going to expect a variable input of the following variables, infrastructure environment, infrastructure role, instance size, instance AMI, so the AMI to use to build the server, the instance size, of course, is the server type to use, and the instance root device size, in other words, how many gigabytes in size to make the root device. And then before defining outputs, I'm going to go ahead and do main, and we'll just define resources. And the resources are going to be very familiar. AWS instance, Cloudcast Web. The AMI here is using a variable for the instance AMI that we defined here, right? So the variables here can actually get autofilled. So AMI is var.instance AMI. And you can see that autofilled for me using the Terraform module that's in this instance of PHP Storm. And it's grabbing from the variables file here. So it knows this module has variables um, available to it defined here. So we're going to use the variable instance AMI to tell us what AMI to use, the variable instance size to tell us what instance size to use, the variable instance root device size to say how many gigabytes to create for the root device. We'll have the same tags pretty much. I think role might be new. And then we have an elastic IP address just like before. VPC is true, prevent destroy true, same tags, and then the association uh, to associate that elastic IP address to the instance. So that stuff is all the same. Outputs. So outputs are like variables. In other words, we are telling this module what variables to output, and that output, those variables, will be available to other modules or other parts of your Terraform configuration to use. So we can say, use the EC2 module to create an EC2 instance, and then let me know when that is complete what the instance ID is. So we have two main things uh, that we might care about in this module. So we're going to find an output block here. The output is going to be the app EIP, so the application elastic IP address. The value, this is going to output, so other parts of the configuration can use it and query it to know the um, information that we want, is going to be the AWS EIP. Class address is what we called it, the public IP address. So this uh, variable, this output, it, of the app EIP is going to give us the public IP address of the Elastic IP address that we create here. And then output, we're going to do one more here, app instance, we're going to call this. The value of app instance is going to be the AWS instance we create, which we named Cloud Class Web. We're going to get the instance ID. So that's just uh, ID in this case. So these are the outputs this module will make available for other parts of our configuration to use. Okay, so main, outputs, and variable, perfect. Let's go ahead and see how to use this. Inside of our main configuration file here, we can delete a whole bunch of stuff. So we'll get rid of the AWS instance, the EIP, the association, we'll get rid of all of that. So the only thing we have left really is the data source here. Now I should note that we also have variables here. So the variable infrastructure env, default region, instance size, that stuff is still here. And these variables can actually be used to pass in information into our module if we want. So we'll see a mix of that when we define uh, the module that we want to use. So we can say we want to use a module. The module we're going to use, we're going to name EC2 app, and we can name this anything. This can be any string you want. So we'll just say EC2 for my app servers. The source is going to be um, our current local directory in the modules directory. Um, so the source can actually be a remote location, like a Git repositories or Terraform registry. For now, we are just looking at local modules that we're building ourselves so that we can see how it works. So relative to the current location, modules EC2 is the source module. And we know we need some variables that this module has requested, right? So the variables file here for the module EC2 wants infra env, infra role, instance size, instance AMI, instance root device size. 
So infer and equals r of r to infer env, right? So we have a variable infer env defined in our configuration here, and we're just passing that into the variable of the same name into the module infer role. We just hard code that for web. So this is the the role of this web server, this application server, is to handle web requests. Instance size, we can say whatever we want. So I guess we can reuse the var instance size uh, item here. I'm actually just going to go ahead and hard code that. So t3 dot, uh, what did I use? Small, I think. And that means we can actually delete it from up here. Instance AMI is data dot AWS AMI dot app dot ID. So the data source for, to grab the AMI, we're going to reuse that up here and that'll pass in the AMI that the module is expecting. Now there's also the instance root device size and we can set that to wherever we want. I'm actually going to leave that blank. And we can leave this blank because the variables file here within the module has a default of 12. So we can just go ahead and let that use the default of 12 gigabytes. So this is optionally passed in, you don't need to. So what do we need to do here to get this working? We can make sure that Terraform knows that we have a new module and it's gonna read the cloudcast.tf file and say the source is a module and the module's location is module EC2 and it will do what it needs to to get that working. In other words, we need to run Terraform in it whenever we refer to a new module, whether that module is local or remote. Okay, so initializing modules, EC2 app, initializing backend, initializing provider plugins, all that good stuff. And then we go ahead and use this. So let's just go ahead and Terraform plan to see what this wants to do. Okay, we can increase this. And this is going to want to basically create the same stuff we had before, except it's using a module, right? So it's going to use module EC2 app, and then it's going to create the EIP and the AWS instance and the EIP association is going to be somewhere down here. Yeah, it's scrolled too fast. Here's the EIP association and then the AWS instance here with all the information about that. So before we even let this create, let's just go ahead and see some nice part about this. Um, the modules, like I said, are reusable, right? So I can go ahead and reuse this. Instead of EC2 app, I'll say EC2 worker, right? So we have our definition for our app server, perhaps, and maybe we have another definition for a worker server, referencing the exact same module. Maybe my worker server needs a larger server, so a large T3 uh, T3 large. Maybe it needs some more memory, so maybe 20 gigabytes. And instead of infra role, we're going to say the infra uh, role, the infrastructure role here is worker instead of web. So let's go back to our terminal, do another Terraform plan and module not installed. So I referenced um, another module here. So I need to do Terraform in it and then we can do plan. Okay, beautiful. So six to add instead of three, right? So we have module EC2 worker, the instance, the EIP association and the EIP itself. And then different module up here, same stuff. The module called EC2 app, which of course is referencing the same module, but um, we're creating two instances of it. Give us the instance create the EIP and the EIP association. So if I go ahead and apply this, we'll end up with two EC2 servers created and two Elastic IP addresses used, um, one IP address per server. So in the next few videos, we are going to use a few modules that we're gonna create pretty quickly to see how to use Terraform to A, just create modules. So you see a few more tricks that you can do within modules and setting up resources. And then we'll set up a little bit of an infrastructure that might be a little bit more of a real world use case. So that's coming up in the next few videos.